it's Mina, and I'm coming to you with day 11 of 30 Inks, 30 Days. First of all, happy Veterans Day if you are in the U.S. Um, I don't get today off. I know a lot of people get today off. Um, I don't, but um, that's okay. That's okay. We don't, we're not here to talk about days off. We're ta here to talk about ink. So I'm going to mix up the bucket and um, pick an ink for today. We have whatever this is. Hopefully, hopefully you can see. I can see like on the screen enough to see if the vial is in uh, in the frame. So hopefully you have seen what the ink is. I will find out in a moment. Um, yeah, I loved yesterday's ink, obviously. Obviously, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, most of my editing on these videos is just me cutting out sneezing. <laughs> Because it happens literally every time I start recording. It doesn't matter. I've been sitting at this table for three hours. Four hours. No, three hours working. And I haven't sneezed one second. But this, the minute. The minute I turn the camera on to record this video. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Anyway. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about ink. Our ink. Sailor, you're a meku. Seki. Okay. I have a card of this from um, an ink flight. So let me see if I can find it quickly. Oh, I also cut out when I'm looking for these cards if it takes too long because, I don't know, it takes a long time. This is the state of my swatch cards. These aren't even all of the ones I have to put away. These are just the ones that, the pile where I knew that that swatch was. Anyway, maybe I won't cut out this last one. It didn't take too long. So this is um, the sort of greeny brown one. I do have a green pen in my uh, options for today. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll go with that. This is a Pelican M205. This is the olive green. I think I have an extra fine on this one. I do. I have an extra fine, so it'll be interesting to see what this, what the sh dual shady properties are. And the ink looks like this. It's like kind of gray, but it comes out this like pinky green stuff. So let's fill our pen and do all of our things. Hopefully I got some ink, not, not really. Oh dang. I pretty much filled this pen up. I have like just enough for splats and stuff. Oh, I should probably wipe this off though. Dang, so you can almost fill a whole piston fill. If I really wanted to, I bet I could probably get more. I don't know if I could get the whole thing in there, but I could get more in there. That's okay. We don't need to. I have enough for splats and enough for to do this, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, colors matter. I love it. I already knew that I loved it. It was just a tribute to my bestie. And, yeah. If you have not checked out Creepy Nibs before, please... Give her a follow, check out her videos. She's amazing and wonderful. And yes, my channel started as a Creepy Nibs Stan account. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, but like, that's the joke. Um, yeah, I picked up, I started doing ink flights, which I have the new ink flight to record as well. Um, I started doing my channel because uh, Creepy Nibs was getting ink flights and um, was going to stop and then Chris was also stopping ink flights at the same time and I was like no somebody needs to make these videos so I decided I was making ink flight videos and that's how my channel got started so please thank uh creepy nibs and Chris signs if you enjoy my content at all because it is their fault I'm here <laughs> it's also y'all's fault I'm here because I enjoyed doing it this nib is so bouncy. So this is an M205, which has a steel nib on it. But this pelican, like, it's just, it, it's boingy, boingy, boingy. I'll show you on another page, because I like to keep this as neat as possible. 
but you do get you can get some line variation like don't push it like for, like hard but you can get variation every time i use an m205 i'm like consistently surprised and in awe of just how like i don't know if it's because they're so i don't know if it's because of how the feed is i don't know it's just it's boingy 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 i don't know i love it it's a really fun nib to write with In my personal opinion. I prefer the size of the 605 or the 600, the um, Pelican M600, 605. Well, actually I would say I would prefer the 605 because the 05s have um, silver, silver trim and I prefer, I prefer silver trim almost, almost always. I, I do have pens with gold trim where like, I feel like the gold uh, matches well, but generally. If I can get a pen with the like rhodium, chrome, silver, silver looking trim, that is my preference. So this is silver. My Suki. So cute. This is like such a weird month with all these like, um, like, look at all these inks. We've got like the purples and like the weird grays and then I've got these like reds like like a pink like a nice little ombre from like pink to red to like this rusty red to this brown to like this gray and it's a this is an interesting month I love random months but I love how like well it's working together you got the little pop of color up here oh I love how this is turning out I can't wait to see it finished this this calendar like this calendar page is my favorite part of 30 inks i just love seeing how the whole month turns out i love watching it fill up i love watching the progression and i just love the completion it's uh oh, it's my favorite thing okay so we'll let that dry we will do a chromatography i have my strips here somebody asked in the comments yesterday about the strips that i use and i don't show them off every video but i do have them linked in the description these are the ones i use bardovation chromatography paper strips they come in a bag of 50 i think i bought them off amazon and amazon also has an option for 100 but because i cut these six inch strips here i'll take one out i cut the six inch strips into thirds and uh, get two inch strips basically um, so I like triple, I triple my, um, paper strip just by cutting them because I don't need, I don't need all, I don't need all of this for one ink basically. So, uh, yeah, so these are what I use. Um, if you look up chromatography strips, they'll, there's a bunch of options on there. But these are the ones specifically from Bardovation. I don't know that it matters, but um, yeah. And then they come, like I said, a pack of 50, six strips. I cut them into thirds and I've never, I've purchased them twice, mostly because I lost one of the sets and um, was like, well, I need chromatography strips. So I bought another one. That's the only reason I've ever bought two because I've never run out. I've never had to repurchase them because I've used them all yet. Not yet, anyway. Let's let's do let's do some chromatography. Okay. This should be pretty pretty interesting. You should get a lot of things out of it. You can it already did it just by writing the line. Initially, it looks like we have some of that sky blue at the bottom. I don't know how much you can see. I know it's not in focus. I don't know how to make it focus without screwing up my entire camera and having to restart the video. So it starts with like some sky blue. There's some purple or magenta. I'm not sure if it's purple or magenta. Into pink, into green, into like yellow. It almost, it looks really similar to Colorverse Matter, but maybe, maybe slightly different, slightly darker. I don't know if it's been 20 seconds, but. Very pretty. OK, 
Okay, now we're focused on the jar. There we go. Kind of focused on my finger. It's okay. We'll let that dry. We'll let that dry. Where is my chromatography from yesterday, actually? Um, here. Similar but different. Here's what it looked like dry, in case you were curious. Um, so that's color versus matter. It's like a whole ass rainbow in one ink. Love it. Okay, and again, here's our swatch card. This pink with the green. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Okay, on to splats. Let's fix my camera again. Here's our splat from yesterday. It gets really dark if you if you lay down enough ink. I love the shading. Okay, so, so on some papers, this the colorverse matter is really light. Like the shading, it goes really, really light to kind of darker. And I know that some people don't enjoy it. This was a pretty dark application of this ink, actually, actually the writing and stuff. Um, but it can shade pretty lightly sometimes. Like some, it depends on the pen that I use it in pretty much as to what it looks like. Cause some pens it writes really legibly and some pens it doesn't, so. And it doesn't matter sizes either. I think it's like specifically like, I don't know, however the nib writes. Anyway. Third inks, 30 days. This is still November. 2022, day 11. Sailor Yuramekuseki. Pen. Is it the pelican? M205 Olive with an extra fine nib. Yes, it's an extra fine. I know it doesn't look like it, but that's Pelican for you. This took up so little space. I guess because I didn't have to do two lines for either the pen or the ink, but yes. So how's everybody's November going? Are you having a lovely November? Mine's kind of been all over the place um, for all kinds of reasons um, but yeah oh. can we sh suck up all of the ink <laughs> samples been used y'all okay now I gotta put it back I saw Maria. I don't, I'm behind on Maria's videos and I think it was yesterday's video that I watched. Um, I need to like binge watch her 30 inks because I've missed quite a few days. Um, uh, uh, I don't know what this looks like. <laughs> it looks like a bug that just will like splat. Like you just smash, that's what it looks like to me. Um, like a pretty bug though, look at those colors. Smash, anyway, her, she did um, her splat, she said it looked like a, a bull chasing a bicycle and it looked to me like an insect chasing a bicycle. Then she did something and said it looked like a pickle. I don't know, it made me laugh. I think it was yesterday, I think. It was a green, I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. Shoot, I don't remember, but yeah, I don't know, it was a fun video. So yeah, if you're not checking out um, uh, Maria, go check out Maria and her 30 inks because they're enjoyable. They're so enjoyable. I love them. Love Maria. Maria, we should hang out sometime. There's literally no reason we can't. I know, I'm just like throwing that out there. Hi, YouTube gods. Actually, I, I, I know we're kind of neighbors. We live locally-ish. Not to dox her, but... But yeah, like you've seen her videos, I'm sure. Like, yeah, anyway, whatever. I'm <laughs> anyway, we're fairly local to each other, close enough that we could definitely totally 1000% hang out. Um, 
and I actually drove through like her area of town last weekend and like waved to her from the highway. <laughs> Maria, I don't know if you noticed, but I, that was me. The, the the weirdo waving from the highway was totally me. Um, anyway, yeah. Okay, it is time. Let's take a look at this again, just because, just for funsies. Definitely see like green. I see green up here. You definitely see like the pink and the purple. It kind of looks a little blue right here, and then the text looks pink. It's very cute. I love, I love these multi shading inks. So lovely. Okay. So I brought probably come. Oh no, you're just moving around. You're just moving around. You want to come say hi to the pen people? You gonna? Oh no, I can't rub your belly from up here. Pearl, I can't rub your belly from up here. You're too far away. I do not have go go gadget arms. Please don't look at me like that. Please don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. I'll rub your belly later. I have to finish the video. If you're not going to come say hi to the pen people, I'm going to finish my video. Um, let's see. I can like just get ink on this automatic pen. Oh, maybe. Can I even get ink on this automatic pen? Come on, come on, give me some ink. Okay, we might have to dip it a couple times. Or did we get lucky? No, oh, we got lucky. I'm gonna dip it a little bit just for funsies. I'm so excited. After I, rec after I finish this video, I'm gonna upload it and obviously get it out to y'all and then I'm going to make sure I haven't missed any work stuff and then I'm going to film the ink flight video. I love ink flight day. And then if I'm still on my own without Rumi, uh, cause Rumi has off today. I don't know. I don't know where Rumi went. Rumi was gone when I woke up. Um, but I thought Rumi had the day off. So I was totally expecting him to be here. So a sailor, you're that cool. Sucky. Because I was scared it meant I wasn't going to be able to film videos. Um, uh, Pelican. M205 Olive. Extra fine. I really love this pen. Like I said, I was saying earlier, I prefer the size of the 600s, the 600 size pens, but I really, really, for being a steel nib, this is a really, fun, like, I love steel nibs, obviously, but, like, most of my Pelicans are gold nibs. Well, maybe. I have quite a collection of 205s, to be honest, um, but for, like, a, just, like, a steel, I really enjoy writing with this pen. It's super fun, and I have, I have, nibs in all the sizes. I have enough of these pens that I have nibs in all the sizes and I just, I like every single size. I have it, this extra fine. I have a couple fines. My first was a fine. Um, I have a couple mediums, I think. I have one or two mediums and then I have a broad and I just, I love the way they write. All of them. Each one. So yeah. So if you're in the market, I really want to get, I really want to get the appetite. Appetite? Somebody, somebody corrected me. I think it's appetite or something. Um, um, I really want to get that pen and ink combo. I like that ink, even though I have turquoisey inks and I don't probably need another one. The set is tempting. Maybe that'll be a Christmas present to myself. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I like how pink this looks like in the writing, of course, but on the swatch card here, it looks green. I don't think we're seeing a lot of the, like, we're seeing more of the pinky purple than we are seeing of the green. Um, at least in this particular application on these papers. What's our, what's our Midori look, or not Midori, uh, Moromon look like? Even here, we're seeing a lot more pink, um, than green. It looks more purpley. I'm not gonna, I, I kind of like the green, the greeny thing going on here, though. But, yeah, it's lovely. Lovely. I'm super excited to use its pen today. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of today's ink. Have you used this ink before? Do you have any thoughts on it? Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know what you're using. Have you had a favorite ink of the month so far? Did you check out Creepy Nibs? Are you excited she's back? Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited she's back. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about her being back, I swear. But... 
it's really fresh and I'm really happy. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Go check out Maria's 30 inks, 30 days video. Um, actually check Sarah Katie as well. She's doing inks in space again. I need to, I need to catch up on her videos too. And I think, um, Marilyn Darling is also doing some 30 inks. So they're all linked below. Dormouse is out this month, but, um, yeah, you should definitely go check out her content as well. Um, check out her previous 30 inks. Um, go check out her Etsy shop. Get some of her labels. They're literally my favorite labels. That's like zoomed in. They're my favorite. They're my. They're officially my favorite ink sample vial label things ever. I love the sticker paper she uses. And yeah, they're amazing. So anyway, that's enough shout outs. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. Are you coming to say goodbye to the pen people? No, you're just making noises? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. This How is this video 22 minutes long? I'm Hopefully there's stuff to cut out. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow with day 12 of 30 and 30 days. Take care. Love you. Bye.